president is missing. The world is in shock. But the reason he's missing is much worse than anyone could imagine. With details only a president could know, and a kind of suspense only James Patterson could deliver. Good day readers and listeners and welcome to another episode of Tom's Rapid Reviews, where each week we take a look at a review written by one of my fabulous Surrey Library's colleagues uh, of a book that they read or listened to recently. I give you a bit of background and context about the book and its author, and it's all done in the hope that you'll try listening or reading to something new this week. So without further ado, let me introduce you to this week's book, The President is Missing, by Bill Clinton and James Patterson. The unique selling point of this book is obvious. James Patterson is perhaps the most prolific and successful thriller writer of our time, and Bill Clinton is a former president of the United States. As such, their writing a thriller together about the presidency was bound to draw attention. Published in June 2018, the book sold remarkably well and has spawned a follow-up this year called The President's Daughter. Now, this review marks a unique moment for Tom's Rapid Reviews in that the book has been reviewed by two separate colleagues of mine and they don't seem to agree. So let's see what they had to say. We'll start with Elizabeth, who says, This is the story of a diabolical cyber threat to destroy the American way of life, and there is a traitor in the President's cabinet. He must go missing in order to solve the mystery. This is a fast-paced thriller that rockets along until the breathtaking end. However, Rebecca takes a different view, saying, Who knew Bill Clinton could write a thriller? Well, in my opinion, he can't. Even with the help of prolific author James Patterson, who seems to knock out about 50 books a year, this novel really disappointed me. It follows the fight between terrorists and the presidents of the United States to gain supremacy. I found it quite predictable and the characters very two-dimensional. I read this book out of curiosity, but really wished I hadn't afterwards. Strong words there from Rebecca. Um, and on the other hand, Elizabeth felt it was a breezy, enjoyable book. So with two diametrically opposing views on a book, what can we do here at Tom's Rapid Reviews but sit on the fence and give it a three out of five? Having read around a few other reviews as well as those of my colleagues, it seems that the heart of the matter is whether or not the reader likes James Patterson's work. Uh, this fits comfortably into his body of work, his bibliography, and reads like other works of his, albeit, as Rebecca's criticisms suggest, perhaps not his very best. But there's plenty to enjoy if you do like his work, with the added twist of the presidential element. The President is Missing is available physically as an ebook on the Libby app or as an audiobook on BorrowBox, all of which Surrey Library users have access to. And if you're looking for recommendations based on The President is Missing, then we've got them, and they're red hot. There is, of course, The President's Daughter, the follow-up to this book by the same authors. Alternatively, if you'd rather seek out some of Patterson's other work, you could look into some of his most popular series. There's the Alex Cross series, the Woman's Murder Club series, or the Private series. And if you want another unexpected team up, look out next year for Run, Rose, Run, uh, a work between James Patterson and Dolly Parton. If you'd rather avoid Patterson, however, or have read all of his books, Surrey Libraries have plenty of other thriller authors to choose from. Uh, we have next to me David Baldicci, James Oswald, Ellie Griffiths, uh, Anne Cleves, and some classical writers of the past, such as John le Carre, Agatha Christie. Plenty to get your thrills. And when you borrow some li Surrey libraries, you know those thrills will come cheap. So, thank you very much for joining us for this week's Tom's Rapid Reviews. I hope it's giving you something to think about. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, please do comment and subscribe. For now, though, stay safe, borrow books, and we'll see you next time for another of Tom's Rapid Reviews.